Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm an Airbus pilot and a former Boeing 737 pilot. In this video I want to tidy up with an argument that a lot of flight simulators make about manual flight in Airbus versus Boeing aircraft. Lots of flight simulators do say that flying an Airbus aircraft is, well, not real flying since the computers would be doing everything and since you can only command your computer to do stuff for you. That is an argument which I have to completely oppose. Now, for what reasons? Well, let's go over it real quick. So, we are going to start with hand flying an airplane. Now, I have flown approximately a thousand approaches on the Boeing 737 myself, 2000 in total, including my pilot monitoring tasks. And so, I tend to say that I do have a little bit of experience hand flying conventional aircraft like the 737. However, Today we are sitting on the Airbus and now let's talk about flying the Airbus. So hand flying an airplane is not all about moving your control device, be it a side stick or a yoke, in order to point an airplane where you want it to go and then trimming it out to keep it going where you want it to go. That is only the absolute minority of the tasks of hand flying an aircraft. Indeed, the majority of your tasks as pilot flying will be the mental part going on behind it. So, analyzing your current aircraft trajectory and deciding on what you need to do in order to correct that trajectory to wherever you want your airplane to go. For example, we are currently inbound for an ILS runway 06 at Edinburgh Airport. And as you can see, I am flying manual but with the flight directors enabled. Now those flight directors do take a lot of the mental part from flying away from me because they simply do that work for me. So let's go ahead and turn the flight directors off. And at this point be aware that flying with the flight directors on in a Boeing aircraft is exactly the same as flying with the flight directors on in an Airbus aircraft. The argument of having to manually trim the airplane is really pretty much non-existent for me. So that argument is really just like, well, think about how you're driving your car. If you're driving your car, then you will barely do anything manually. So you simply drive it on a subconscious level. With that I mean as much as you are driving your car but you're not really thinking about the input you're making on your steering wheel. Much rather you make that input on a subconscious level and you simply look outside the window and you move your hands in order to move your wheel in order to get your car where you want it to go. But you don't really think about it. And it is exactly the same when flying a Boeing conventional aircraft. So. You make your input on your control column and then the airplane simply goes where you want it to go. And that is about all you need to do about it. So you don't need to consciously think about, okay, now I'm doing my control input and now I am doing my um, trimming in order to keep it and so on. But much rather the thing that takes your mental capacity when you're hand flying that aircraft is that you have to recognize deviations, that you have to read your displays and fly the airplane where I want it to go. So right now, for example, I have to look at my localizer scale, I have to realize, okay, I need to bring it a little bit to the left. And now when I am established on my localizer, I need to bring the diamond right onto the runway track in order to keep it there. And now the challenge of hand flying this airplane simply is to read your displays, recognize trends and recognize deviations and correct for them early. And that is what makes the most part of manual flight, not moving a control column and having an, to trim your airplane or having auto trim in the aircraft. That is really not what takes the uh, challenge of manual flight. All right. I do hope you found this one interesting, and if you did, then do let me know in the comments below. I'm looking forward to your take on it, and in the meantime, like to say thank you very much for watching, and thank you very much for uh, commenting. And finally, 
If you're up for more, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I see you all again on the next one, and in the meantime, enjoy your flights, whichever aircraft you're flying, be, be it a conventional one or be it an automated one.